Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to greet you in the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um, we are having a word we are going to look at. Please, I want you to patient, you know, uh, to this all. I'm concerned most of messages I'm receiving from God relating to how we are building the kingdom. <laughs> And we are living the truth and we are divided into money and the weight of the world, which is not in the foundation of apostle that laid up the gospel for us. Please, I uh, began to look into the world tradition. Into the world tradition. When our Savior is here, when Jesus Christ came here, there is a question they ask him. In Matthew chapter 15, I'm going to read verse 2. And the Sadducees, they came, they came, they came to the Lord Jesus Christ by asking him this question. Say, why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hand when they ate bread. What does that need to do with the kingdom? I want you to think about it. What does that need to do with the kingdom? You know what people are doing now? A lot of ministers of God, they are looking for wealth at all costs. At all costs. I met one, he told me rightfully, when they were trying to use other angels that fall with Satan, is that those angels are looking a way whereby God will ascend them. But I don't know where it's written in the scripture. And they have to use those demons to work for them. Maybe God will have mercy upon them. And what are the work are they doing? What is the work they are doing? What is the work they are doing? A pastor, a servant of God, being evangelist, being apostle, whatever God called you to do, that forgetting the foundation of truth and you strongly believe you have to do ritualism to support truth and they make you to understand after they do all the ritualism for you and you are standing in need and praying, convincing people, even using the word of God. And they assure you that you see the authority will become an order of establishment, whoever you pronounce it to. Hello, listen to this carefully. Who do you think you are working for? You are blessing people negotiating that if you don't do this, I'm not going to do that. If you don't do this, I'm not going to. And we don't even know. The scripture says, freely you receive, freely you give. That way, your ritualism is not free. You got it off. Tell them reality. Because you are the money, you are going to hellfire. Because that is not God I expect you to do. Every foundation that God built was perfect. Your calling is perfect. Your salvation is perfect. Just like the beginning of the creations. The Bible says, after he created everything, and God look, and it was good. But when he got to chapter 3, the whole story changed. Satan is still using the same application. Get this cry. Get this right. He's still using the same application. The same method that he applied in the beginning. The same method is what he uses right now. I no wonder the Bible made us understand. A lot of believers, a lot of righteous will be deceived. And you are stepping out of the light of darkness because of money. You have to go and put your dread into somebody that you know you have glory as a pastor, you left your clothes there 
And when you left your cloth there, you thinking they are going to bring the cloth come back for you, then you'll be able to do the ritualism. You are wasting your time. Heaven is going to judge you. And that is why the scripture says, you hold truth unrighteous, un unrighteous. Truth is your hand. But it's unrighteous because you brought another thing into the kingdom of God. You to think about the children of Israel. They thought, you know, you can hold God on the righteous and the victory will be your part. No. You know what happened? A life lost his two children. It's like, and when he got in, the, the news, he fell and he died. Because he refused God the truth. Listen to this. Until one Sabbath has stood, and it's time and it's said, if you can come back to God, I'm ready to pray to God to have mercy upon you. And he's going to fight for you. And exactly that's what happened because the truth revealed itself. You know, I'm concerned and I'm, I'm looking at the life that we have now. We're acting as if Jesus Christ is not coming. We're acting as if we are not called to righteous. A lot even forget about eternity. You want to enjoy this war before you go to heaven. Okay, that's all right. But the people that will receive the vision from, they laid their life down. They suffered. They all die young. How many of you are ready to die young? But you are ready to die for ritualism. For occultism. To do ritual to harmony and for you to make heaven, it doesn't matter to you. But you forget one thing. That the Bible made you understand. Seeing that you deliberately committed no forgiveness. I met wonderful sister. She shared a testimony with me. I know she's going to listen to this message too. She had a dream when she saw a big crowd of people and they were all lining up. They were eating to the gate. All their apparel was beautiful, white, glitter. When it is a turn and the man that is matching people in make her to understand. Look at your garment. It has some stop. Spot. There are spots there. He said, you are not qualified to come to me. You know, when she wake up, nobody tell her. She run back to Jesus. You know the very thing? After one month, and the revelation come back, and she was accepted, when she stood in truth, holding truth on the righteousness, holding truth for wrong, doing and leave how you want huh. no wonder the spirit of God is even telling me said that's all how it is in the day of Noah nobody listening they don't want to hear the truth they don't want to hear it they refuse to listen I want you to hear the answer Jesus Christ gave to them. In verse 3 of Matthew chapter 15. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? Can you see that? Believing in tradition and departing from righteousness and God commandment. Oh my God. Who do you think God is? Satan comes and sneaks in and you embrace him. Satan comes and introduces his kingdom to you. 
You say, yes, that is what I want. But you forgot your beginning. You forgot when you firstly met Jesus Christ. Look at the transformation of that time, the joy of eternity that said to be you. But now money, 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 money is taking the truth from you. It makes you to follow The instruction of Satan. That is the instruction of Satan. It just the way it is. There's nothing we go, we got to compare with. Just instruction of Satan. The truth is coming. The love is being revealed. Christ come in light. His glory in the heaven came to this wretched world. Put on him immortality. And went to Calvary. He went to the regal the pain of the suffering by shedding his blood for your freedom. You aim to read. You are acting like the children of Israel in the wilderness. Remember the cucumber. What is cucumber? What is garlic? They begin to shout, even willing, the children are crying and they annoy God. There's one thing I want to tell you. Either you believe it, you don't believe it. Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. I want you to just know what you are doing to yourself. If you are deceived, you got to let this go now. Truth needs to rule over you. Lie needs to depart out of you and the glory of God need to serve upon you and reject the hunger of God and reject the hunger of God chapter 6 of Genesis I want you to see verse 7 and the Lord said I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the heart both man and the beast and the creepy things and the fowl of the hair. For he repented me that I have made man. Look at what your sin is making God to think of how he should look at you. And whenever you're committing, whenever you are digressing out of God's will, you are bringing the hunger of God to come because you've tasted the goodness of him. You've known the truth of his kingdom. You know what is right and you know what is wrong. And God see all what he has done for you and what you are paying God. And he just for yourself. It's for yourself. Because you are going to let this immortal to go when a real transformation will come. You listen to flesh, which call your attention to the things of the world, and that is what flesh love. My God, food. You don't know? Either they burn you by ashes, it's coming down. Either you swallow by any other things, it's coming down to the, to the ground where you come from. But your spirit, the liking God, is going to face it. You better repent. And don't let these present things to take you away from the truth of his kingdom and come to reality of his glory. Now, when we are talking about tradition, I'm coming back to that topic right now because all those things you go in line with it. You begin to look, oh, this is how we do in our church. But it doesn't go with God's word. But that is not what the word is telling you. That is not what the scripture is saying. 
that is not what God wants you to understand. They were following the tradition of others. Others. Human being. Dust. Food of maggot. Because they want honor. They want what people can see. Not internal. That is what you two want to do. The Lord made me to understand every ministry, churches that we see today, both Orthodox and the Gospel, they all started well with Him. But when they allow tradition to come, tradition makes you to step out from perfect will of God. And what is leading them to? They want honor and money. Honor and money. Deceive, collecting false money from people because of losses of life. Hello? Why don't you come back to Jesus? You know, this is true of your life. The Lord showed me something about what a lot of people are doing by connecting themselves with demons that anything comes out of their mouth must establish. Empowerment of demons to rule the kingdom of God. You are just deceiving yourself. Because you are obeying that instruction and that is who you belong. You refuse to stand in righteousness. I watch a film. And this is African film. This faithful man of God begin to look at his position in time of money. And but God is using him greatly. He's looking at the one that is where they're riding all kind of cars. You know, I went to him. But I knew when you started your ministry here. I've sat a way back before you. He said, show me the way. He never knew. Before you know what happened, he into trouble. A girl there son of you are into a woman being. A dead child, they were cooking them. I don't know the type of occultism you are doing. The type of method they ask you to apply. And you are happy. You are getting money. You are happy about it. <laughs> A day is going to short. No wonder the young ones are going to die like nothing. Money. You will leave money. Money will leave you. But righteousness of God will reveal all your evil doing. But have you forgotten? The scripture made us all that Jesus Christ is life and it's life to all become light. What light does it reveal the darkness? It does seem cover darkness. It exposes darkness. Come back to Jesus. It's moment to repent and come back. And Jesus Christ has already made us to understand. Tradition has been started for a long time. Long time. The Lord spoke to me about each church's on heart. He made me to understand each calling of the churches. When they were started deviating. And what is making them to deviate is money. Money. Everybody begin to look for power. Position. How they want it. You too, you begin to follow that way. You begin to do it in their way. You begin to see this in music. You go and pray for people. Lamenting, creating good word. But does it change their life to eternal? 
does it remove the real power that dominates their life through sin? Oh my God. Genesis chapter 4. I want to quickly show you this. What Genesis chapter 4 says here. Quickly. Look at verse 7. If thou do well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou do well not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shall rule over him. Let me tell you something. There is no one God did not give power to reject or to accept. You have that power with you. But your confessiousness, your greediness, your unpatient, no long suffering, impatient is, is, is now ruling. Abel cannot stand the truth anymore. Because realities of God's hand is upon him now. It's living like as if it's not living. The tormentation and the power of God come upon him. Please, don't wait for that time. You need to change now. Change. Right now. From tradition. Change. From tradition. If you are in this position, it is time for you to change. Look at Mark chapter 7, verse 8. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold a tradition of men, as the washing of paws and cobs and many other such like things ye do. Think about it. You know it? I didn't need to explain that further, but this is what first night said. And he said unto them, Fool well ye reject. The commandment of God deliberately. Ye may keep your own tradition. Step out from God's will. Do it how you want it, the way you see it. How it satisfy you. Please listen to this truth. Verse 17 says. Making the word of God of none effect through your tradition. You know what? You are following tradition and no imparting of anointing or true salvation to soak you are leading. Just blessing, 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 blessing. Think about it. Your day is coming. It is time to repent before the day. The door of mercy is open. But this is what Jesus Christ has for you. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. So beware, be, be, uh, uh, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and feign deceit after tradition of men, after rudiment of the world. And not after Christ. Hear this in verse 15. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the tradition, and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or a epistle. Hello, please. It is time for you to come back to Jesus. Let me read the last word which I'm going to say now. Second Thessalonians 3 says, Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw yourself from every brother that walketh disorderly and not after tradition which he received of us. That's from Jesus. That's from Jesus. 
I want you to close your eyes. You have the grace to change now. And the power of God to set you free. Which is truth. You need to do something now. The mercy is speaking for you. That is what gives you the opportunity of this message. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't look. Tell Jesus. The Lord I've come to you. Have mercy upon me. I will change you. Money or no money, I will serve you. Paul said, what can separate me from the love of God? You do you know it? I'm nothing. Death couldn't separate him. He died. He went to prison. What do you do for Jesus? Because you are lack. Because you are begging. You just want to break poverty anyhow. And it is your own disobedience because you don't stand where God put you. You refuse to stand. You refuse to stay. You refuse to follow his direction. And simply because of one. You better repent. Pray for repentance right now. The Lord will have us. It's a message for God. It's giving you this opportunity to change. And that's it. Pray, 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 pray. Talk to God. And I believe his mercy will work for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I just want to thank you for this great moment. Thank you for those who are seeking for your face. Those who are crying, have a father. Lord, this is me. I'm wrong. Yes, I need to come back. Yes, I can go to hellfire. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, as they were praying, I pray that mercy will speak for them. I lose them from all those bondages in the name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody, you are looking at me right now. You are even saying, yes, because I know you. I don't even know who you are. But I, that is what I can hear you say. Because I know you. And that is why I'm preaching this message. Don't deceive yourself. The Lord said, don't deceive yourself. If the word is talking to you, it better change right now. The Lord is simply telling me, you are about to take another step. You are about to take another ritualist step. Because the little you got suits you. You want to go for higher level. The Lord asked me to tell you. He said, your life is very short. It's very short. You will see. It will not last you six months before you cross over. And where are you going? Hellfire. Ask God to have mercy upon you. You better repent. Stop looking. Stop thinking. Stop looking at what the, what the Lord is bringing to you. Yes. I see if it's word of faith. Change now. The mercy is opened for you. There's a woman. You are looking at me. You have a ministry. You are looking at me. The Lord is asking me. I saw you even right now. I saw you with your white cap. You wore it with your white cap. Maybe they use um they use hand made it look like something that you white that you put on your head. Ask God for mercy. No, you stop that your thinking. It's, it's it's wrong, it's wrong. The Lord wants you to deliver you. That's why truth comes to you. I want you to change right now. Confess your sin. The Lord is ready to deliver you. Yes, yes, He will deliver you, He will set you free in the power that in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God have read this time for your deliverance. God have read this time for your change. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for that woman. Lose now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes, the Lord is telling me there is somebody over there. You are having a light headache. That headache is not something that can stop you uh, or the where people can even you uh, identify, but it's true you're wrong. It's true you're wrong. But the Lord is saying it's going to have mercy upon you. I want you to lay your hand on that head right now uh, because the headache is going to go. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because she has repented, because she repented, I decree in the name of Jesus that headache go out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I can see you get your healing up. Lord, I just want to glorify your holy name for this moment. Lord, as they were seeking your face, Father, answer them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty redeemer, I pray. Amen. Amen.